Hi everyone and welcome back to August Every Day. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done like a sit down video so we're really excited to to do this one with you guys. Alright, so today we decided to do a vlog called Myths About Marriage. Yes. Before you get married, so often you have a picture of what it's going to be like. Um, you think it's going to be a certain way. Uh, people say some things that make you think it's going to be the way they've said mm. it's going to be. Mm. But it really isn't always true. And so we want to dispel some of the myths about marriage. Number one. Your wedding day will be the best day of your life. Not true. We found that marriage gets better. It only gets better. It yeah. really gets better um, as you put in the work that is required to make it good every single day. So don't, don't fall for the lie that your wedding day is going to be your best day and then it goes downhill after that because it really can get better um, and as the days go by yes definitely it's a permanent honeymoon no <laughs> <laughs> no it's not uh, I know people say that there's a honeymoon phase um, but I feel like the honeymoon phase lasts as long as you want it to for us I felt like we were we've been honeymooning for a long time and even though there's tough times and that kind of thing um, we take refuge in each other and we still make an effort with each other and we really enjoy each other. We enjoy each other's company and that for us is, is honeymoon phase. Yes, so honeymoon can last as long as you want it to last. But number three. Once children come, you won't have time for each other. That's so not true. Um, and often people, especially people will say to the husband, oh, once the children come, she's not going to have time for you. But I've really seen that Arlene hasn't made Ezra her number one priority. I've still been number one in her life. And that's how it should be. Um, and as a result, we're able to balance. So I've really seen that Arlene has still made me her number one priority. And um, as a result, we're able to balance our lives and we're able to give Ezra all the attention that he needs. But yet I don't ever feel neglected. I don't ever feel like I'm not um, a priority or like I've moved to the bottom of the barrel. Thank you, lover. It's not easy. Um, it's difficult. It's really difficult because obviously Ezra requires a lot of my time. Yes, he does. Um, so yeah, I just I do my best and Darren knows that I've got good intentions and I think we've we've done well so far. So far, so good. So far, so good. Myth number four. That you know everything about the person you are marrying. You, you, you. You speak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't know everything about the person you're marrying when you get married because you learn more about the person once you are married. And marriage has a sneaky way of making you and your spouse grow as people. Mm. So you will constantly be learning about each other, especially spiritually, you know, if you're someone that is um, in the word and that knows God and prays and that kind of thing, you will grow spiritually and you will constantly be changing and constantly be becoming better than you were mm. so you will always have something to learn about your spouse and I think it's good because it's like you can never get bored of this person very true um, I've said this before in one of our previous blogs but somebody said to me before we got married that you find a wife and that find is almost a continuous finding and so every day um, as a husband I find a better wife in Arlene as we continue on this journey of marriage the last myth, um, number five, is... Things will get better once you get married. Yeah. A lot of people have this perception of like, he'll change if we get married, or she'll be better if we get married. And it's not the case. Marriage is like a magnifying glass. Not even a magnifying glass, a microscope. If you see things now that irritate you about your partner while you are dating, or while you're engaged, when you get married, it's a hundred times worse or more irritating. Don't worse be, and better. Yeah, worse and better. So don't be fooled to think that marriage will change your partner or marriage will make your relationship better. It's not a solution. So for instance, um, I mean we weren't living together but Arlene wouldn't always put petrol in her car before she got married to me. Mm -hmm. And I would always say to her, please fill up your car. And now that we're married, she still doesn't fill up a car. And it irritates you. Yes. Yeah. It irritates me more now than it did when you were dating. Mm -hmm. So there's an example. Yeah. Worse now because we are married and living together and there's things that need to be done around the house. 
What would you like to say? Would you want to say something, sir? Who are you going to marry? No, no one yet. Let's get through the nappy face. Those are our five myths about marriage that we have experienced since we've been married. Um, what have you found in your marriage and in your relationships? Drop us a line down below, comment. We love hearing from you. And please don't forget to, to subscribe. subscribe below. Say subscribe. Never fails, never gives up, never runs on me.